The Pacific Ring of Fire is a tectonically active region where large magnitude earthquakes have occurred in the past. This include the earthquakes in Peru, Mexico, Chile, Alaska, and more recently, in Japan. The Philippines lies within the Pacific Ring of Fire. It lies at the junction of two major tectonic plates, the Philippine Sea Plate to the east and the Eurasian Plate to the west. Active convergence between these plates manifests as trenches that flank the whole archipelago. These include the Philippine Trench, East Luzon Trough, Manila Trench, Negros Trench, Sulu Trench, and Cotabato Trench. Earthquakes which may be generated by movement along these subduction zones may trigger a tsunami. Tsunami is a unique force of nature. Its destructive power is generated when an offshore earthquake is strong enough to displace enormous quantities of water, causing gigantic waves to form. The tsunami can then travel across the vast ocean, carrying with it the destructive power that may devastate coastal areas. One of the destructive earthquakes to have occurred in the Philippines is the August 1976 magnitude 7.9 Moro Gulf earthquake. It triggered a tsunami which devastated the southern coast of Mindanao, resulting in close to 8,000 deaths. Some years ago, on February 2012, an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.9 struck Negros Oriental. The earthquake did not cause a tsunami, but triggered landslides which buried some communities in the island. Of interest to us is the Manila Trench, which is situated west of Luzon. Various studies have revealed an earthquake recurrence interval every 500 years. Available data suggests that the last big earthquake attributed to the Manila Trench took place around 1,000 to 500 years ago. Tsunami heights from an earthquake attributed to the Manila Trench may reach up to 14 meters. Recent studies have documented the occurrence of past earthquakes due to the Manila Trench. Scientists who discovered a thick tsunami deposit in Dongdao Island in the middle of South China Sea pointed the Manila Trench as the source of a big earthquake. It was said to have triggered the tsunami that transported and dumped these boulders and other materials onto the island. An extreme wave event and significant vertical movement within the South China Sea and the Manila Trench for Arc region 1,000 years ago have also been deduced from coral boulder deposits and uplifted coral reefs in Badok Island, Ilocos Norte, as reported in these recent publications. Evidence of past seismic events have sparked renewed interest in the seismogenic and tsunamigenic potentials of the Manila Trench. It is for this reason that we propose to carry out this project titled Marine and Onshore Geophysical Investigations of the Manila Subduction Zone. This three-year project aims to identify faults in other structures onshore and offshore and assess the potential geohazards and to construct a tectonic model and determine the implications for geologic hazards such as mega-earthquakes and tsunamis in western Luzon. Although there are existing models on the possible earthquakes and tsunamis which may result from movement along the Manila subduction zone, we hope that the additional data which will be generated by our project will contribute to the efforts to better understand the dynamics of the Manila subduction zone. On-land potential field methods, such as gravity and magnetic surveys, will be conducted to image the structure of the crust beneath the western Luzon. Rock formations, as well as fractures and fault zones, will be investigated using these geophysical techniques. Through these methods, we may be able to identify and locate faults and structures that may generate earthquakes in the vicinity of western Luzon. The onshore geophysical data will be integrated with the marine geophysical data to provide geological information from the trench portion of the Manila subduction zone all the way to the onshore part of western Luzon. The marine geophysical surveys will be conducted together with our Taiwanese collaborators aboard the RV Legend, the marine research vessel of the Taiwan Ocean Research Institute. Together with the FIVOX seismic stations, the wider seismic network encompassing both the offshore and onshore regions will record for the first time a complete coverage of seismic travel time paths to reveal the seismic structure along the Manila subduction zone. The more we learn about active geologic structures, the better prepared we can be to face potential geologic hazards and their disastrous results. New information, which will be generated from this research project, will provide useful inputs to the geohazards assessment being done by the Mines and Geosciences Bureau and the tsunami modeling of the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. 
Results of the project will also provide guidance for the local government units in their disaster preparedness plans. Finally, both the public and the private sectors will benefit from the information about the dynamic changes in the coastal and offshore areas of Western Luzon. This will hopefully lead to a heightened awareness of possible disastrous events related to the Malita Trench and other geologic hazards.